eyes are gray You'll never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my sunshine away The other night, dear As I lay sleeping I dreamed I held
once received, we thank thee. We really do. I spoke to your mother last night. I had to tell. Ask her what she said. Just give me a minute to look my new home over, huh? What the hell, man? I have never been in an institute of psychology before. Well, buddies, my name is McMurphy. R. P. McMurphy. And I... I am a gambling fool. <laughs> hey, what, uh, what's this just like, huh? Matter. You ain't got a straight deck around here? Well, no matter. Because I brought my own, huh? 52 positions, boys. <laughs> Each one of them different. You see, buddies? No. What the hell happened to me? Well, I got down in a couple of tassels over the work farm. 
Well, the court has decided, but I'm a psycho, brother. <laughs> and do you all think that I would really argue with the court? Hell not, nah, man. You can bet your bottom dollar that I don't. Hell, if they get me out of those damn pee fields, I'll be whatever the hell they want me to be, man. Whether it's a psychopath or a mad dog. <laughs> hell, I'll even be a freaking werewolf for them, huh? Oh, but I don't care if I never see another wind hole to my dying day. Boy, will you get the fuck Ooh. away from me? You take me, mister. We got room. I gotta get you showered, and I need to take your temperature. Buddy, all you gotta do is let me get acquainted with my new buddies here. Okay. Huh? You see him, mister. You're asking for it. So you're gonna get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole deal better, huh? All right. Now, we can get something settled around here. Tell me, buddies. Which one of you is the Bull Goose Looney? <laughs> I am asking who is the Bull Goose Looney? Well, it's not me. Buddy, I am mighty glad you're next in line for the job. But you see, since I'm thinking of taking over this whole ship and here, well, maybe you ought to take me to your leader, huh? Mm, Mr. Harding, you present the, the, the patient's council? Yes. Does this gentleman have an appointment? Do you have an appointment? Yeah. Mr. M M Murphy. Mr. Harding's a busy man, Barry. So. Right. And uh, is this busy man, Harding, uh -huh. is he the Bull Goose Looney? That's right, yeah. <laughs> well, you tell Bull Goose Looney Harding that R.P. McMurphy's waiting to see him and tell him that this not house ain't big enough for the two of okay, us. I will. You either tell him that he meets me man to man, or he's a yellow skunk who better be out of town by sunset. Billy, you tell this young upstart McMurphy that I'll meet him in the main office at high noon and we'll settle this affair once and for all with vetoes and blazing. Billy, you tell him that Randall Patrick McMurphy He's used to being top dog in every situation. So, if he figures himself to be a loony, he is bound to be the stomp down, dead gum biggest loony of them all. Hey, hey, friend, uh, my name is R. Murphy, and 
I don't like to see a grown man splash around in the front of water. Why don't you get clean up? Pass them on. <laughs> Well, well, well. And what have we got here, huh? Dusty Trumbull. Yeah? What's your story, big chief? He can't hear you. He's deaf and dumb, so... Huh. He is, huh? Then why the hell do they got him tied down for? <laughs> Don't like to see that. No, sir. It ain't dignified. God damn, boy! Say you get your full growth, you're gonna be pretty good sized. What tribe is he? Well, I don't know. He was here when I could came. He's a Columbia River, <coughs> River Indian, one of those who lived up on the waterfalls, but I believe the tribe is now defunct. About right, Chief? Are you defunct? He can't hear a word you say. Yeah. Mr. McCarthy. Oh. oh. Well, how do you know? I'll take that. Well, all right. <laughs> well, maybe not today, huh? Aide Williams tells me you're being difficult. Who? Me? He says you refuse to take her admission shower. As to that, ma'am. They showered me at the courthouse and last night at the jail. Oh, and I swear, they would have washed my ears for me on the way over if they could have found the facilities. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite amusing. Shut up. But you have to understand, our policies are engineered for your cure, which means cooperation. Uh, Ma'am, I'll cooperate from hell to Thursday, but, I mean, you wouldn't want me to be unpolite, right? Well, I just had to get acquainted with my new buddies here. Please understand, I do appreciate how you've taken it upon yourself to integrate with the other patients, but everything in its own time. You must follow the rules. Mm. The rules. Well, you know, ma'am, that's the same thing everybody always says to me about the rules. And you know, when it comes to the rules, well, I just break every single one of them. New admission. Now they got to fix them with controls. They got the wires running to each man and units planted in our heads. They got, they got magnets in the floor so we can't walk no way for what they want. We got stone brains and cast iron cuts to copper. What he took away all the time. They throw a switch. It turns us on or off. He, he got me. He got me way back long ago. Hey, uh, hey, uh, come on, suckers. You hit or you sit, huh? You hit or you sit. Ooh, hit, you say. Well, 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 with the king out, the boy wants a hit. What do you know? Uh, too bad. A little lady for the lad. And he's all over the wall, up the hill, down the road, and drop this load. I'm coming at you, Mr. Scanlon. Jesus, and I just wish some asshole in that nurse's hothouse would turn down that mother love music. Wait, never heard of a driving racket in my life. Yeah, would you mind please just switching out that goddamn noise? Huh? Yes. Yes what? Yes, Mr. McMurphy, I would mind. Music is considered therapeutic. And what the hell is therapeutic about Lawrence Buck? <laughs> Alright, boys. Say, what's the matter with that? Is that a, a two-way system? No, 
But Miss Ratchet is a human radio. Oh, she is, huh? Well, I may just have to pull her pluck. Group meeting. Time for group meeting. Oh, okay, now, now what? Group therapy every day at the same time, man. <laughs> found nurse for the chair. Ridiculous. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we begin? According to notes entered in the log book. Mr. McMurphy, would you like to join us? I'm going. Sorry, doctor, I didn't see you there. Sorry. We're talking about Mr. Harding's relations with his wife. Whose wife? <laughs> oh, yeah, I see her. Where? Mama me. Where? Oh, oh, not oh, oh, where? Oh, oh, I like her. Oh, right there. Oh, my God, what I would give to have these men's eyes, huh? <laughs> McMurphy Randall Patrick, <laughs> committed to state for diagnosis and possible treatment, 35 years old. Never married. The history of drunkenness, assault, battery, just disturbing the peace, repeated gambling, and one arrest for rape. Statutory, ma'am. Our new admission, doctor. <laughs> ah, it says here you have no previous history and time spent in any other institutions. Well, ma'am, I mean, Including state, county, coolers. Uh, mental institutions. Ah. No, hell no, Doc. This is my first trip. Oh, but I swear, I am crazy. <laughs> you see, I'm actually interested in the statement. Don't overlook the possibility that this man might be feeding psychosis to escape the drudgery of the work farm. Now, Mr. McMurphy, what about that? Come on, Doc. I mean, do I look like a sane man to you, huh? <laughs> Doctor, I wonder if we should remind Mr. McMurphy of the protocols of these meetings. Well, yes. <laughs> One of the first rules is that all patients remain seated. Well, sure, Doc, sure. You see, we operate on the principle of the therapeutic community. The which? Therapeutic community. Uh -huh. This means that the ward is a society in miniature, and since society decides who's sane and who isn't, you must measure up. Our goal here is a completely democratic ward governed by the patients working to restore you from the outside. The important thing is to let nothing fester inside of you. Talk, discuss, confess. If you hear another patient say something of significance, you write it down in the logbook for all to see. Do you know what this procedure is called? Yeah, squealing. Group therapy. <laughs> Shall we continue? <laughs> Mr. Harding, you choose a wife who is clearly your inferior. Do you not find significance in that? Theorize that you know sexually at least. I, yeah. I, You're always saying it's just a good leg. Yeah. 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 What happened to the sack, Harding? Yeah. <laughs> complete, complete psychic, psychic impotence. Why do I always cry? Say Harding. <laughs> Say Harding. Would it be easier if you would submit that shore? Watch your fucking mouth! All right. Hey, knock it off. Mr. McMurphy? Hey, leave the guy alone. Sit down. Buddy, buddy, you don't have to put up with this shit. I suggest shit. we close the meeting. 
close until discipline has been proved. Hey, buddy. Say, is this the way these little meetings usually go? A bunch of chickens at a pecking party? A pecking party? That certainly is a pleasant analogy, my friend. Yeah, yeah, that's right, friend. And you want to know who pecks at the first peck? Is that nurse? That's who. So it's as simple as that. Simple as that. <laughs> You're on our word six hours and have simplified the work of Freud, Young, and Maxwell Jones and simmed it up into one analogy. I ain't talking about Fred Jung and whoever Jones, man. I'm talking about this crummy meeting and what that nurse just did to you. <laughs> In spades. Why, this is incredible. You completely disregard the fact that everything she did was for my benefit. Horseshit. <laughs> I was wrong, buddy. I had judged you were more intelligent, but I was mistaken. Hey. To hell with you, man. Oh, yes, I also noticed your primitive brutality. Psychopath with definite sadistic tendencies. But you, no doubt, with your talent, could work some conscious miracles. Heal the aching in and soothe the wounded superego. You could probably cure the whole world. Vegetables and all, ladies and gentlemen, in six months, or you're running back. Are you telling me that this crap that went on today is doing any kind of good? Why do you think we subject ourselves to it? Miss Ratchet may be very strict, but she's not some kind of monster chicken begging her eyes, huh? No, no, buddy. She's not some monster chicken begging at your eyes. She's aiming right square at the family jewels. No, this is here. My friend, my psychopathic sidekick, Miss Ratchet, is a veritable angel of mercy. She's as thankless as the wind, toiling thanklessly for good of all, day after day, seven days a week. I she has no life, no husband, nothing but her work. And everybody knows it. Do you think she enjoys being stern with us, probing at our subconscious into the hearts? Oh no, my egomaniac buddy. She is dedicated. She desires nothing more than to see us walk out of here, coping once more and adjusting with life. So you're wrong, buddy. I assure you, our most, our Miss Ratchet is the most kindest, sweetest, most benevolent lady that I have ever, ever. <laughs> Why don't you do something? Why? Because the world belongs to the strong, my friend. The rabbit recognizes the strength of the wolf, so he digs holes and hides when the rabbit is about. He doesn't challenge the wolves to combat. Then Murphy, I'm not a chicken, I'm a rabbit. All of us here are rabbits. Billy, hop around for Mr. Murphy here. Jesse, show him how firm you are. Oh, they're bashful, isn't that sweet? Hey, shut your mouth. Well, you tell her to go to hell. Yeah, try it, buddy. The ship you right on not to disturb. Oh, down to the shock oh. shock. Oh. The witch? Electro shock therapy, my friends. A device which combines the best features of the sleeping pill, the torture rack, and the electric chair. And the cheap room there is at 200 patients. <laughs> Okay, uh, and what about, what about the little fart of a doctor, huh? Okay. The doctor? Man, yeah, that's just a formality. She requires the doctor's approval, but the doctor's got, uh, 200 patients, a bleeding ulcer, and no desire to make waves. What's the matter, friend? Losing your revolutionary spirit? Hey, what about, what about this democratic ward stuff, huh? Why don't you guys just take a vote? What do we vote? Then the big... The nurse can't vote against us? Yeah. Can't look well, at I us can. and start I can stop yeah. the nurse. Can't send up the shock shot? 
unbeatable. Hell, guys, I don't know anything. Don't you see? Oh, you boys got to do something to show where you still got balls. You guys, you guys talk about how scared the chief is. Look at you. I have never seen such a scared looking bunch in my life. Well, I'm not. Well, no skin off my ass. How true. And I, and I sure as hell wouldn't want some old fiend of a nurse after me with 3,000 volts. Naturally. So what the hell? Welcome to the club! Woo! Correct. He's up. Hey, hey, hey. You said you said that she can't do nothing to you unless she gets your goat, right? Unless well unless she gets you to say crack up in some way. Say like if you bust her in the nose or if you if you cuss. As long as you kept your temper. Right. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, boys. You birds, you think you got the champ back there, huh? How would you all like to put a little money on it, huh? Money? Yeah. That I can get the best of her. Because I'm wagering right here, right now, that I can put a burr up the nurse's butt within a week. That I can buck her so bad, she falls apart on them neat little seams. And I'm gonna show you guys, she ain't unbeatable. One week, hmm? That's all I need, one week. You hey, to make wager on that. yeah, and I tell you what, yeah. if I ain't got her to the point where she don't know whether to shit or go blind, uh -huh. the money's yours, hmm? Oh. Well, who's got 10 bucks they wanna lose, huh? 10 bucks, huh? 10, huh? 20 dollars. To your ten. You can do it. All right. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, step right in, ladies and gentlemen. It's a spin of the wheel, a turn of a card. It's the battle of the century. One week, seven days, no holes barred. R.P. McMurphy versus the big nurse to a knockout decision or draw. Two to one of the odds, boys. Get your money down, huh? Huh? I bet you five dollars! <laughs> five for the road yes! runner, huh? <laughs> Gentlemen. All right. It's time for occupational therapy. Mr. McMurphy, what was that activity? Well, ma'am, we're just playing a little game. Are you sure it wasn't some form of gambling? Why, heavens, ma'am, no. <laughs> no, gambling? This is a sure thing. It's in the night to do the things to us. Things. Things too. Things too horrible for the day. And if the night ain't long enough, they slow it down. Oh yes. That's a fact. They got fake time. They can they can speed it up or slow it down. I seen. I seen three days go by once. Once. In an hour, I see, I see, I see, I see three, I see three months go by like this. Finger marks and smooches. There's crabs all over the floor. If big nurse see this, she a pro mess for sure. She's gonna beat us with a big brown bag. Why don't we just beat it back? Go, Ben. First, we snug her with the can. <laughs> we sit her down. Prize open her mouth. And we shove everything inside. Oh, and stop the whole damn mess yeah. inside.
gentlemen. Could somebody please help Mr. Ruckley. Before we begin, I believe we should have a little discussion, informal, of course, along the subject of patient McMurphy. Hey, where is McMurphy? I suggested yeah. now would be a good time for his interview with Dr. Spivy. I just don't think he should be able to go on upsetting people. I ain't upset. Yeah, I am. Neither am I. You may not realize you are. However. However what do you think? Huh? Oh, it's a real blast. Doctor, we're in the middle of a meeting. Oh, sorry. Go right ahead. Yes, we're just discussing the matter of morale. Huh. Yes. Yes. I did just have a suggestion, or was it to you? Hell no, nah, Doc. It was your idea. Anyway, I made a suggestion. What if we were to have a carnival? A carnival? Oh, yeah. A carnival? Uh, <laughs> yeah? A carnival? A party? What are you going to wear? How about that? That dress? You can't even wear that. A carnival? Right here on the ward, there'll be games, boobs, decorations. What do you think, man? I think that's a good idea. Yeah. 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 Well, that's fine. And not without therapeutic value. Yes. Therapeutic. There are not therapeutic, therapeutic, you therapeutic, therapeutic, therapeutic yeah. value. Well, you could use a bomb man. Yeah. Yeah. And I could do a ring to us up in occupational therapy. Oh. Yeah. And, that is awesome. and I'm rather good at palm readings. And my I can sell things. Myself, I'll be glad to run a skiller wheel. Hey, I uh, step right in, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Try your luck. A bonanza for a dime. A prize on every spin of the wheel, huh? <laughs> what do you think, Miss Ratchet? <laughs> a carnival <laughs> right here on the wheel? Look, George, please, 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 please. I do agree. It may have therapeutic possibilities. <laughs> but of course. <laughs> A discussion must be had in staff okay. before a decision can be reached. Was that not your intentions, doctor? You know, I was just filling out of some of the patients. But a staff meeting, hmm, certainly, yes. Also, doctor, I thought I should mention Mrs. McMurphy's request for a visitor. As he puts it, a twitch named Candy Star be denied before he becomes more at home with the rules of the ward. Ah, yes. Mrs. McMurphy did show me his request in my office, and, you know, I figured since he's been here a week already, I signed it. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Very well. <clears throat> Billy Bibbit and his speech problem. Do you recall, Billy, when you first had speech difficulties? When did you begin to stutter? Oh. That's not oh, that's right. Not nice. take it to me. The very first word I said, I started. Come on, Billy. Mama. Oh. Mama. Yes. yes. That's when, when I proposed to. A <laughs> Come on, Billy. Yes. Come on. Girl. Yay. Yes. <laughs> I said, honey, 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 it's hot. honey, will you, all right, say it. come on, Billy, say it, Billy, <laughs> go on, go on, <laughs> do it, do it, she broke out laughing, Yay! Yeah. it's true, <laughs> your mother has spoken to me about this girl, Billy, Apparently, she was quite a bit beneath you. Was it that which frightened no! you? No! What was it then? I was in love with her. Hmm. Well, let me quote from your mother, Billy. She was a designing little slut <laughs> who only wanted to marry my Billy because... No! She was a lovely g g g girl. The, uh, the, uh, and I know I'm such a disappointment to my mother. But she won't admit it. She won't see me like I am. And pretty soon I'm gonna k k k k k k k 
kill myself. <laughs> so I try. Hey, say, I, I got something to take up. If you wish to speak, you must be recognized. What? You mean you don't know me? I know you. I don't you recognize from? you. Well, man, you got a hell of a problem. Hey, would you like to discuss it? Doctor, I wonder if we shouldn't discuss <laughs> Mr. McMurphy. In what respect? I have noticed a definite deterioration of discipline since his arrival. Perhaps another form of therapy? Oh, yeah? And what do you got in mind? Hooking me up to your little battery charger? For your own good, Randall. <laughs> and a pig scissor. Look, Miss Ratchet, I must say I agree with patient McMurphy. I find him quite lucid, quite in touch. And despite his past record, he has shown no tendencies toward violence. So I must conclude that electroshock therapy is not indicated. Very well. Well, if there's nothing further. Ah, ah, but Doc, I got a little matter. Doc, I, I think you should point out that the purpose of these meetings is therapy and these petty grievances are not. Whoa, 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 whoa. Petty? Wait, are you calling the World Series petty? The hmm? World Series? Hell yeah, Doc. Start this Friday, the big games. You know, you have this stupid rule of just watching TV at night. Well, okay. How about we change it to the afternoon, huh? Hmm? Oh, for therapeutic reasons. Man, therapeutic is all hell. Or perhaps we hoping to make bets on the games? <laughs> well, how about it, boys? Don't you want to watch the series? Cheswick? Huh? Huh? Oh, why not? Yeah! <laughs> Scanlon! Uh, I don't know, man. Mr. Scanlon, as I recall, you refused to eat for three days until we changed the television time from 6 to 6.30. I remember that. A man's gotta watch the news, don't he? They could have bombed us, cleared to hell, and it'd be a week before we knew. Wait, 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 wait. So, wait, wait. Are you saying there's nothing therapeutic about watching the news? Hmm? Maybe they won't bomb us this week. <laughs> <laughs> Atta boy. Well, let's take this into a vote, shall we? All of those in favor, raise your hands. Come on, George. Hey, hey, guys. What is this crap? I, I thought I thought you would vote stuff like this. And that's right, Doc. Huh? Well, all right then, guys. It's now or never. One last time. Who wants to watch the games? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Three. Oh, what's the matter with you guys? Three. Three, Mr. McMurphy. Just three. Doesn't count. Not sufficient enough to change war policy. Now, if that's closed, may we terminate the meeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terminate the lousy meeting. Listen, Randall. Some of us have been here a long time. And some of us will be here a long time after you're gone. A long time after the World Series is over. Don't you see? Don't you realize I'm trying no, to... No, 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 I, I, I don't understand it, Billy. I, I don't understand it. Harding, what's the matter with you, man? And the rest of you guys, what, what are you so afraid of, huh? You... Bunch of godless wonders. No, 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 no. You know what? You know what? I ought to just leave you to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I ought to do, man. Just bust her out of this damn place and nail the door shut behind. Yeah? All right. You're talking so big. Just how would you break out, hmm? <laughs> 40 ways. I can name 41. Realistic. Hell spells. You think I'm kidding, huh? Yeah. All right, all right, chicken shits. Ah, ah, there, there. That thing Billy's sitting on, I could lift it and throw it through that mesh window. <laughs> Hell, are you telling me that I can lift that dinky thing? That dinky thing is a quarter ton and half the electrical equipment to the station. 
You should try it, man. You could usurping the control of blow this damn hospital in the Uber. Talking about the bomb again. Okay. You better stop being crazy. All right. Who's willing to lay five bucks? Hmm? Hmm? Deal. Five bucks, you peckerheads. Because no one is going to convince me that I can't do anything until I try. Here. All your IUs from Blackjack, I'm turning up the whole shebang. Double or nothing. Who's in? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Billy, get out of my way. All right. <laughs> Stand back, boys. Stand back. You're using my oxygen, you know what I mean? Scanlon, you get the women and the children someplace safe. All right, baby. Hell nah, I'm just warming up. Oh, he's warming up. <laughs> he's warming up. Just warming up. You're just joking. All right, here comes the real effort. Yeah, well, but I tried. Didn't die. God damn it, at least I did that. There, the waterfall. How come I hear it? It sounds last spring. I see a salmon jump. I smell the snow where the wind is blowing off the peaks. The tribe out there, above the falls. Listen, the way the yell each time the sparrow fish. How come? What's, what's making it come back? Time, get going. Well, somebody had to go in a hurry, yeah? Mr. McMurphy, that is an outrage. No, ma'am. That is a latrine. You were supposed to get those fixtures clean. Well, ma'am, I mean, they may not be clean enough for some people, but me, you see, I plan on go piss on them, not eat lunch out of them. I guess you better find you something else to do. Well, take over, buddy. Hey, uh, are you guys ready to pay off the Mayo use? Huh? Huh? Oh, does your chewing gum lose its flavor? 
on the bedpost overnight. If your mama said, don't chew it, will you swallow it in spite? Visitor, Mr. McMurphy. Oh. McMurphy! Candy girl! Yes, oh. McMurphy. Mr. McMurphy, please identify your visitor. She's my goddamn mother, huh? Buddies, this right here is Candy Star. Candy. Hi, boys! Hi, How's Candy. every little thing? Hey, Pop! What they got you in for? Great. Uh, uh, honey, honey, uh, let's, uh, let's, let's introduce you to Billy Bibbit, huh? Do you believe it? Billy is a virgin. Oh, honey, come over here. Missed you so much. Tell me, how, is, uh, how are things on the outside, eh? How's, how's Sandra? Tied up, man. I mean, like, really? She got married? She got which? Can you picture that? Oh, Sandy married? <laughs> no. Who to? You remember Ari from Beaverton? Used to show up at the parties with a white rat or a gaffer snake or some huh. great thing like that. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Romaniac. Well, that's okay, honey. Trust me. They're a lot crazier outside. <laughs> you don't, Dick Murphy. Mr. Dick Murphy. Okay. How are you, though, baby? I mean, they treating you all right? Oh, hell yeah. The food is sensational. And the bed that they give a man? Well, why don't I show you? <laughs> why not? Mr. Dick Murphy. Yeah, okay. Okay. Hey, what about here, huh? Or... Here, huh? You know what, honey? I think she wants to watch. Hey, listen, listen. I got an idea. You, mm -hmm. you were talking about the old parties and, and everything. Well, I bet I can fix it so we can throw one right here. You kidding? Hell no. Hey, and maybe you could even bring Sandra. I told you, oh, Sandy got married. Yeah, well, okay, but she still likes parties, huh? Sure, but how would we get in? Far <laughs> out! Oh. Mr. McMurphy, I'm afraid you'll have to ask your visitor to leave. Hey, I just got here, sweetie. That's okay, honey. Say so long to the fellows, huh? You dead, McMurphy. Later, boys! Hi, Candy. Can I Nice kid, huh? Comes from a good family. You're not really good at going to do it. Why not? A party? Here? <laughs> That's the scam. We're gonna have a party? Ah, 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 ah. We? Who the hell said anything about we? Wait, hold on. Well, we're not invited? No. Oh, why? <laughs> because I'm sick of you jerks. That's why. Jerks? Hey. Do you all know what, you want to know what's going on in this very minute? What? The World Series! The World and you dickheads kept me from seeing it. So Matt, oh, he's right. Yeah, okay, okay. You and Scanlon. But all the rest of these boys do them scared to raise their little hands. Mac, I'm sorry. The matter was already closed. Harden, Harden. Anything in the rules says that you, you can't vote again? No, not that I recall. Well then, well, let's try this again, huh? Shall we? Haven't you gentlemen got work to do? Yeah, 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 sure. But right now, we are having a very special meeting of the Patients' Council. Called by whom? Mr. Dale Harding, President. For what purpose? Um, for, for helping. For the purpose of taking a revote on changing TV time to afternoon. Afternoon, that's what I said. Hmm? Well, boys, all right. One moment, please. 
Do any of you feel Mr. McMurphy is imposing his personal desires on you? I think he might be happier if we moved him to another ward. You can't send him to the disturbed for just bringing up the same. Yeah, that's right. Hmm? And you're certain one more vote will satisfy you. Hell yeah, ma'am. I just want to see once and for all which one of these births has any guts and which one hasn't. Hey. Very well. All those in favor of changing TV time to the afternoon, please raise your hand. Well, butter up, bro. One moment. The rules call for a unanimous vote. Yes, ma'am. Unanimous. You, na, n. Wait, 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 wait. You don't, you don't mean you want the chief to vote? Huh? So that's it. That's how you work this democratic bullshit around here. No, no, you know what, ma'am? Of all the crap things that I you ever heard... You seem upset, Miss McMurphy. I'll make a note of that. Okay, okay. Just wait a minute, hmm? Wait a minute. Chief. Okay, come here, Chief. The meeting is closed. No, just wait a lousy minute. Chief, all right. It's... This is it, man. This is, this is literally in your hands now. It's now or never. We are men or we are monkeys. We make or we break. You get your hand up now and vote. Don't be ridiculous. That poor man can't even hear Come on, me. Chief. We're all dependent on you now. Look, all, all we need from you today is, is, is just, just, just one more. Just raise your hand. Just, just one, huh? Look, show her. You're going to show her that you can do it. Look, all these guys, they've all got their hands up. Chief, just once. Yeah. Watch. Not move, Billy. Did Sit down. You hear me. Koufax. Koufax kicks. He delivers. It's up the middle of the base hit. Richard turns right in first, going for a second. The ball is in the right center. In the right center. Here comes the ball. Home run. The issues surrounding mental health are more prevalent than ever before. Those who suffer from mental health's constant battle have never been more neglected. For me personally, I suffered for many years with chronic depression and anxiety. 
And still today, I face a constant battle with my anxiety and my depression. But during those years when it was really, really bad, I felt hopeless. I was alone. I was a broken person who was trapped within their own minds, hating themselves more and more every day. I was confused. My mind was surrounded by darkness, which led me to do reckless actions towards myself, causing harm to not just me, but other people around me. I was isolated. I was worthless. However, I got lucky. My family loved and cared for me during that difficult time. Without them, I don't know if I'd be here today. I owe them everything. Once you've traveled through the dark, the light has never seemed so bright. Mental health creates a fearless individual who is fueled with grit, courage, and bravery. What I want to stress today is, is that even though mental health may seem like your greatest weakness, it can be your greatest strength. Never be afraid to talk. There's always someone who will listen. Everyone has a gift to give. Everyone is unique. Why not? Oh, well, let me guess. It's against ward policy, huh? <laughs> you got it, buddy. Ah, damn it! Just when we had an alumni game coming up. Hey, honey. Uh, do you mind if I take a look at that? Stay back! Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, I'm not gonna hurt you. I swear it. Just wanna see it. Fuck them all! <laughs> Good game? Yeah, it was a good game. Shut up. Please take Mr. Lucky down. Thank you. We do have our issues, don't we? But they could be resolved. We have weeks, months, maybe even years. Guys, guys, shut up! What did she mean by that? By what, man? That, that years, bit. Come on, why, why is she acting like she's holding aces? I guess she means it's because you're committed. Yeah, well, sure, I'm committed, but my sentence only has five months to run, and... Mac, it's not like jail. In jail, we have a date set ahead where you'll be set free. But in here, if you're committed, then you... you, you... Wait, 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 wait. So, you mean I am stuck here until she wants to turn me loose? Boy. Hey, well, then, then I, I got as much to lose bugging that old buzzer as you all do. More. I'm voluntary. You're which? I'm not committed. As a matter of fact, there aren't many of us on the ward who are. Are you shitting me? What? Billy! <laughs> Billy, boy, you, 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 well, you, you gotta be committed, huh? 
What then why? Why? I mean, Billy, you're a kid. You're just a young kid. Why are you not out in a convertible, I don't know, chasing for babes or... And the rest of you guys, then, then what the hell do you, do you stay for, huh? I don't understand it. You all gripe, you bitch, you moan all day how you can't stand this place. How you all can't stand the big nurse and here all the time you ain't committed? What the hell is the matter with you, huh? Don't, don't any of you have any guts. Sure, sure, that's it. We haven't got the guts. I could g g get out this afternoon if I... You think I want to stay here? Sure, I'd like a convertible and a... Girl... Friend... But did you ever have people laughing at you? <clears throat> no. Because you're so... Tough. Well, I'm not tough. Neither is Harding. <laughs> Neither is Cheswick. Oh, 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 you thought like we stayed here because, oh, w what's the use of being here? Like, what? Okay. What are you saying? Then why did none of you told me about it? What? That she could keep me here to my dying day. I guess it just didn't occur to us. No, no, that's a lot of crap. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay, now, now I see it. Now I get it. Now I see why you guys keep coming at me like I'm Jesus Christ. Okay, Max. It's because I got everything to lose. And you, boy, how are you like that? You. Bastards caught me. I got caught by a bunch of wackos. No, Mac, you have to believe no, me. No, to hell with that. To hell with you, Harvey. You can't be calling the bastards. I, I, I got no worries of my own without getting hooked on yours, guys. So, quit bugging me. Quit, quit bugging me. I don't know. Mr. McMurphy, what are you planning on doing with that? Well, I'm gonna use it, ma'am. I'm gonna clean them urinals so clean, we're gonna have to start wearing dark sunglasses every time I wanna take a piss. Mr. Harding? Yes, Ms. Ratchet. Have you been reasoning with patient McMurphy? Yes, Ms. Ratchet. Just what did you say? We um, explained the therapeutic community. Hmm. That's just fine, boys. That's just fine, boys. Come on, let's go hide. Chief, you okay? Hey, uh, you know, they, they took away all my privileges, so, well, this is all I've got. Thank you. <laughs> ah! <gasps> oh, Chief. <sighs> hey, 
Hey, chief, chief, look. Canada honkers flying south. Look. It's gonna be an early winter, chief. Look. You see them? There. Flying right across the moon. Wire. Briar. Ember. Huh? Lock. It's an, it's an old nursery rhyme my grandma taught me. Lord, yeah, 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 remember that. Well, you, you play with your fingers, do you? Give me your hand, chief. <coughs> Wire, briar, limber, luck. Three geese in a flock. One flew east. And one flew west. And one, one flew, flew over the cuckoo's nest. <laughs> Next. Yeah, Chief. Are you going to back down? I don't know, Chief. What's the difference? Make me brave again. given a great deal of thought to what I'm about to say. We've talked it over in staff, and we believe there should be some form of punishment for the unspeakable behavior of yesterday. Now, most of you are here because you could not adjust to the outside world. You broke the rules of society at some point in your childhood, perhaps, but when you broke a rule, you knew it. You wanted to be punished, you needed it. But that punishment did not come. And that leniency on your parents' behalf may be the germ of your present illness. I'm saying this to remind you it is entirely for your own good that we enforce discipline. Is there any comment? Good. Then you understand and agree it is difficult to enforce discipline in these surroundings. After all, you can't be arrested. You can't be sent to an institution. You're already there. <laughs> what we can do is take away privileges. Privileges that allow, no, encouraged yesterday's rebellion. 
So first, there will be no viewing of television for 30 days. Oh, why did they do it? That's the worst thing. Stop. 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 The privilege of playing cards is hereby rescinded. Oh, oh my God! God. Oh, oh, God. 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 Not quite. Great. There is one more matter. Yes, yes. The behavior of a patient who has been here almost as long as I, longer, I believe, than any of you. I'm sure you know to who I refer. Mr. Bromden, long ago, was diagnosed as catatonic. Hmm. And for that reason, we gave him up. We forgot about poor Mr. Bromden. And that was wrong of us. But Mr. Bromden acted wrongly too. Is it logical to think that if he can hear, he can also speak? I think Mr. Bromden should speak to us. His first contribution to group therapy, and how appropriate if those words were an apology. An apology for the behaviors that Mac. led to yesterday's rebellion. Warren, get Mac Murphy! Mac Murphy! Oh, God. Oh, God. 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 Yes. Leave her alone. Yes. Yes. Sit down. Come on, hit me Sit again. Down. Come on, Sit again. down. Come on, do it. Hit me again. No, I can't. I can't. No. 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 Come on. Stand up. Stand up. Hit me again. Stand up. Come on, man. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Hit me. <laughs> oh, Chief. <laughs> hey, hey, Chief. Did you see? Huh? Did you see that look on Warren's face, man? <laughs> oh, that look when you threw the old big bear hug on him, man. <laughs> Come on, Chief. Just laugh. Laugh. Laugh right out loud. <laughs> well, that's how you keep yourself in balance. Hey. Hey, hey, you want to know something? You're getting braver, huh? <laughs> What's so amusing? <laughs> well, man, I'm not sure you would get the point. We had a meeting, Randall. The staff agreed it would be beneficial for you to receive shock therapy. But we won't, provided you're prepared to admit your mistakes. Well, yeah. You, you got a paper that I can sign, huh? A paper? <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you could add a couple of things to it, you know, like how am I part of a plot to overthrow the government or how I think that life on your war is the sweetest fucking thing on this side of Hawaii. <laughs> Mr. McMurphy, we are trying to help you. <laughs> oh, are you going to shave my head, huh? Or, or do I get my pants laid, huh? <laughs> Come on, Chief. Hey, don't be scared. <laughs> I'm gonna go first. Hey, they can hurt me, they can hurt you. What's that? What's that? Ooh, anoint us my head with conductor. Huh? <laughs> hey, do I get a crown of thorns too? Don't holler, Chief. Don't holler. Hey, hey, Chief, 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 Chief. Look at me, look at me. Hey, hey, hey. Wire. Briar, Limberlock, three, kiss, and a fox. One, two, three, one, two. No! No!
mates. Patients, we have group therapy. Well, one of you please fix me one of those chairs. Can I sit on that chair? Just, just stop touching things. George is going to sit there, no. actually. If you don't mind. Shut up. Shut up. Shall we begin? Mr. Cheswick. I read in the logbook that you described Nurse Flynn as a mousy little nurse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mousy? <laughs> what do you mean? No. no such thing. You deny this? Yep. Why? It was a joke, man. Could you take a joke? Hmm? Nurse Flynn, yeah, how does yeah. this make you feel? Somebody else. I told you that I did not want to talk about me today. Oh, man. What's up, you beggar hats? Here it comes yeah. the Tim, the big 10,000 watt psychopath, huh? Hey, howdy, buddies. Howdy, nurse. Miss Ratchet. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McMurphy, we were in the middle of a meeting. Oh, please. Do continue. Tell me. Uh, who are we turning up today? Uh. Since you found it so enjoyable, perhaps a few more treatments? Oh, please, ma'am. Look at all the cute a few messly vaults have done, huh? Hey, I bet if we double the charge, maybe I could pick up Tala Lake. Oh. <laughs> 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 Doctor, I would like to withdraw the suggestion to further shock. In what respect? I think it may be logical to presume a surgical procedure. Ma'am? We've had an excellent result in aggressive cases. Oh, aggressive? Why, ma'am, I'm friendly as a pup. There's no cost to do any cutting. There's no cutting involved. And besides, it wouldn't be, it wouldn't do no good to lop them off, you know? Because I've got another pair at home. And they're big as baseballs. <laughs> <laughs> He's making funny jokes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Doctor, I think we should return to the subject. <laughs> what subject? The subject of surgical procedure for patient McMurphy. Right. Not warranted, except in any cases of uncontrollable violence. Well, he has exhibited violence. <laughs> Miss Ratchet, shall we say there was a certain provocation? Oh. No. I don't know what that means. Now, since you brought up the fact in group therapy, rather than a staff meeting itself, I shall clearly state my opinion. I do not approve of surgical procedure in absence of any reoccurring violence. <laughs> and if it should recur? <laughs> then we may reconsider. <laughs> oh, Mr. McMurphy, I bear that one in mind. <laughs> Behave yourself, boys. <laughs> oh, ma'am. Please do change your mind about those surgical procedures. I just adore your little battery charger. Hey, guys. What was that stuff about? Surgical? Procedure? I guess she means lobotomy. Yeah, yeah. W what's that? You can call it a kind of castration of the brain. Okay, yeah, but what does it do to you? They say he used to be a real rough character. <coughs> Jesus. Oh, Mac, we've been thinking about it the boys' night. Come on, um, um, we gotta get you out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we yeah. figured yeah. out a way. As exactly. right. soon as it gets dark, I've gotta set fire to my mattress, and then when the firemen come, they holler, and they'll leave the door open, and we'll get you out of here! Yeah. 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 I mean, not exactly, something. Oh, boys. Yeah. That is as good as a TV show, and I, 
right? And I thank you, honestly, but, uh, well, if I went now, I would miss the party. Party? P party. Oh, well, huh? well, have you forgotten? Holy cow, it's gonna be a party. And you wouldn't oh, want me to miss party. Billy here cashing in his virginity, Billy. would you? Huh? Oh, <laughs> Uh, don't worry, boys. Tonight, them windows will be wide open, so I can sash right out. Uh, hey, we can, we can make it a going away party, huh? Going away? Oh, oh, oh! Cool it. Supper time, gentlemen. Move your feet. Oh. Aggressive. Psst, Billy. Billy. Hurry up! Billy boy, are you taking your vitamins? Cause I'm warning you, that candy girl. Oh, Mac, no, 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 no. Don't go bashful of me now. I got five dollars in here. Says you're gonna burn that woman down. That's right. Huh? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to b b burn her down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, you, you got any bread? Well, how much? Fifty bucks. Fifty? Yeah, well. What for? Candy's laying out the liquor, and then this old turtle over there to take care of. And uh, hey, hey, come on! Why, why are you looking down your nose like that for? Something Miss Ratchet said. Oh yeah, what did she say? How you were always coming out ahead, always winning things. Winning. Winning, for Christ's sake. Oh, snickerdoodle. Oh, yeah. In this, mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I brought vodka. Psst. Why is that wine? Anyway. Psst. Water. Ooh. Lord, help me, I thought you were a snake. Is that Candy showed up yet? <laughs> Candy who? Max said that he made a deal with you. I don't know nothing about no Candy. He said he swapped money with you, man. No, stick back, stick back. I'm not going anywhere. Stay. Oh. Have back, huh? Damn. And oh, whiskey. This is gonna be hey. a great party, man. Torkel, old boy, what's the beef? Ain't no beef, mate. So? Oh, Jesus huh? Oh my God, man. Oh. Ain't no change in my hand either. I don't see it. Oh. Okay. On, okay. okay. There you are. Hey, begged, borrowed, and stole. Y'all know if Miss Ratchet find out about this, she's gonna fire my ass. Come on, Turkey. She's bringing liquor. Oh yeah. One <laughs> bottle of scotch and one of vodka. Which one do you want? Sort of like them both. Well, well, so what the hell are we supposed to drink? Y'all ain't supposed to drink at all. Hey, Cheswick, any sign? Nary sign. Pregnancy test. Oh! Boy, am I stupid. How are they gonna find the right window in the dark? Turkle, turn on the lights. Hey, now that's dangerous. If Miss Ratchet see that, you know, the whole war lit up. She's gonna, Come you know. On, Turkle, she's asleep. That old shit boat never sleep! <laughs> In oh, there! Oh, so why? Yes! <laughs> martini! That's a martini. Oh, Jesus. I'm not gonna. Martini. Oh, candy, baby! Ooh, that's this is Circle! Martini. The window keys! Oh, I'm Come supposed on. to let you have these keys. Oh, Give me the damn keys! Party, this better be some good damn liquor! Oh, yeah. Harding! Yeah. Open the window, huh? Well, 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 Come Billy on. boy! <laughs> Tonight is your night. Come on, Billy boy. She's beautiful, Billy. Well, let her in and let this mud start at her. Oh, I can't even. Oh, my God. Yes. Hey. What the hell, Nathan? Thank you. That's fine, baby. Hey. What happened to that one? We got the best of right here. Who's we? Oh, Lord. I'm a sausage or something. Hi, I'm Oh, oh, 
What did you do with your husband? Oh, that creep! I have left it! Listen, you can only take just so many funds as like ants in your pants and frogs down your bra. <laughs> Jesus! What a creep! I'll give it to you later. I'll give it to you later. Hello, Hello, Hello. 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 She got okay. it. Somebody pinched my ass. Oh, how do you hear it? I want to. Boy, can I, can I, I find some drink? drink. Yeah. Cheswick, get me something to, to make yeah. my yeah. ass. Yeah. Yeah. Murphy, yeah. Murphy, yeah. Murphy. Oh, it's yes. yes. so yeah. awesome. I mean, are we in an asylum? Yeah. 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 I'll do it. Tell the truth. Yeah. Are, you, are you really not? Absolutely, madam. We are the disciples of one of the parts of humanity. Would you like me to decipher a raw sash? No. No? Cocktail shaker! Yes! Yes! Come on. Nice. Medication! 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 A uh, tincture of Nox Vomica? What's that? Yeah, 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 that was doing somebody. You gotta believe it. It's so cool. How do you blow it? Excuse me, if I blow it, that's what we got in my way. Hey, shut up. Kiss, kiss, kiss. What's going on? What's going on? Can well, we? guys, how about the seclusion room? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, 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 hey. He's gonna Hold get on a moment. Shall we send them off without benefit of ceremony? Oh. Okay. Yeah. Come, children, here, before me. Uh, Mac, would you grab George. Ruckley? We need a centerpiece. Hell yeah. Right now. Ruckley? Mr. Ruckley? Oh, I got a job for you. I've been waiting for this moment. Are you going to stop praying? I've got a little for you. What is all that? Yes. Jasmine, give me a hand here. Yes. yes. I'm, I'm, I'm here, man. I'm not training. Let's go. Oh, wait. I, I got to grab on. this. What do you think? Okay. Oh, okay. okay. I want some chair. Today we'll be going to the chair. Oh, oh my gosh. Yes. Get rid of the chair. Get rid of the chair. You got the chair out of the way, man. Jasmine. And one. And a two. And a three! Oh, 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 oh. It's too heavy for me! Have a decoration! Oh. Oh. It's too heavy! George can be Decoration! Yeah. Decoration! decoration. Yes. Dearly yes. beloved, oh, we are gathered in the sight of Freud to celebrate the end of innocence and to cheer <laughs> on his demise. <laughs> Who stands <laughs> sponsor for the Benedict? Oh. Me, okay. R.B. McMurphy. Perfect. Oh, yeah. And for the bride. And for the bride. Kendra. Oh! That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. Very well. <laughs> Do you, Billy Bibbit, take Candy Star to love and hold until the night shift changes? He does! He does! And to you, Candy Star, take Billy to have and hold until our revelations end. I do! Yeah. Most I merciful God, <laughs> we ask that you accept these two into your kingdom with your well known compassion oh, yes. and leave the door ajar for the rest of us. Sorry, as tomorrow oh, we will shall be tranquilized. Yeah, and we will be lined oh. up against the wall with bullets of Paxil, Prozac, Thorazine. Go, children! Come on! Sin while you may! Go! Yeah! Go on! Yeah! Dun, 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 dun,
That's what I'm done about. Why don't you have a seat, huh? She's scary. I'm so dizzy. I'm going to nail you. Me and George, we drink a lot of alcohol. Do you know what, Mac? Oh, we're sure going to miss you. Yeah. You're not funny. Why do you think the jokes are funny? They're not God funny. damn it, Harding. Well, so why don't you guys just come along? Well, I've got to do it my own way, you know? Sign the papers, call my wife and say, pick me at a certain time, you understand? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, sure, but... uh, Come on, guys. What is it with you, huh? Do you mean with Jovis here? Well, I don't know. Guess there's many theories. But I know what drives people like you, strong people here. <sighs> okay. What? People like us. <laughs> God damn it, Arty. Hey, a kid! Come join, we got room for one more, huh? Oh, God. Um, hey, I no, asked no, her to no, stay. No, 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 So, we've had a little party. <laughs> Thrown, no doubt, by Patient McMurphy. Yeah, I yeah, wonder, yeah. is there any profit in it? Very smart lady, trying to buck me till I blow, huh? Well, shove it, because I'm hip. Oh, yeah! 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 Billy boy! Yeah! Sorry, kiss it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy. I'm so ashamed. <laughs> I'm not! Yeah! 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 That's it, Billy! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and with a woman hey. like this. Like what? A cheap, low, <gasps> painted. She is not! Oh. Yeah. She is good and and sweet and That's it, Billy. So that's that's it. it. Like I taught you. You leave her alone! Yeah! Billy! Go on, Billy. Okay. Have you thought? Have you even began to think what your poor mother is going to think of this? My mother. Oh, She's always nice. been so proud of your decency. Do you know what this is going to do to her? No. You don't, don't you? No, you d d don't. D d d d don't need to tell her. How could I not? D d d don't tell her, Miss Ratchet, please, d d don't Billy, tell dear, her. I have to. I have to tell her you have found on the floor of the seclusion room with this prostitute and that you and she got no! down. No! I d d didn't. I mean, she made me do it. Oh, Billy. Billy. I can't Billy. believe this woman Billy. would pull you in there forcibly. It was the others. Uh, what? Hold on a minute. You didn't even say anything. Billy. 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 They did not say nothing. Come on. They come made on. fun of me. They called me names. Who? Billy. Don't, Billy. Do Billy. Don't, do Billy. Billy. don't do it, Billy. Don't be cruel. Who? Don't be scared. Billy. 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 Why are you always scared? Billy. Why? Murphy. Oh. Oh, oh. It was McMurphy. Damn it, Billy. Billy. <laughs> it's all right, Billy. It's all going to be all right. Really. <laughs> Miss Ratchet, you're not going to tell my mother. Please. I want you to go to the doctor's baby's mother, office. Please. You'll be needing attention. Please don't tell my mother. Ah, ah, no, no! Stop! Stop! Help me! Billy! And you, if you're not out of here, 
within five minutes, I will have you jailed as a common prostitute. You coming, Mac? Aren't you? There's no more profit to be made out of these people, out of these poor, sick, mentally ill patients who... What? He cut his throat. He went into the doctor's office. And he found an instrument. And he cut his throat. The poor boy has killed himself. And he's just in the doctor's office. With his throat cut. I hope you're satisfied playing with human lives, gambling with human lives as though you were God. Are you God, Mr. McMurphy? Somehow, I don't think you are God. Come on, Mr. McMurphy. Mr. Big, strong, masculine, and... They got to me again. They got the wires on me and the given orders. Go right, go left, do this, do that, sign the papers 20 times and don't step on the grass. Where can I run? Where can I get away? no place to hide no more. There is no place to hide. <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, hey, you suckers! The game's 20 to 1. You hit or you sit. What are you gonna do? Scanlon! Come on! I wasn't paying any mind. Peace of mind. Gosh, if only we knew where they got him or where they're keeping him. It's been down near a week. You know what I heard? From the guy down in the dining room? McMurphy knocked out two guards, took the raids and keys, and escaped! That sounds like mine! Yeah. Uh, what ward was your informant from? Disturbed? No, oh, yeah. Disturbed. <coughs> you can't trust all your sources. Well, somebody told me they got him down at the work farm. Who? Somebody. <laughs> hey, George said it. It wasn't me. Yeah? Well, some loony down in occupational therapy told me that they saw McMurphy flying across the hospital with his spreading wings and defecating <laughs> all over it. Honest? No. <gasps> Ratchet, what we want to know. Where's Mac? Mm -hmm. We yeah. have a right to know. Yeah. yeah. I agree. You have a right to know. Mrs. McMurphy will be here soon. Okay. Don't you believe me? Lady, we think you're full no. of bullshit. Exactly. Mr. McMurphy will be here. Bring him in. 
bring him in. She ain't bring I him thought in. it was over there. Okay. He's been here for like, what, three weeks? Guys, bring him in. come on. We you know in? how Mac on? likes to make big, massive things. You know, like when he first joined here, he makes this whole big, Harding. massive Harding. 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 edge. Just fine, boys. <laughs> That's just fine. <laughs> Prefrontal lobotomy. So they done it? Yeah. Come on. They done a pretty good job, though. But that ain't Mac. Man. His nose is busted. It's just some dummy that got rigged up. I bet he's right. You've never seen Mac like this. You've never seen it. Hey, do you remember when McMurphy pinched Ratchet's ass and just said he was trying to stay in touch? <laughs> remember he wrote in the logbook, man, am I your B cup, C cup, or any cup of ah, <laughs> Or, or, or that, that, that little nurse. The one I would wear a cross. Yeah, and, and she tries to peel down her uniform. <laughs> Murphy gets it out and she hollers. Don't touch me, I'm Catholic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Damn. I wish Matt could come back. Chief, what have you done? <gasps> Chief, what have you done? <laughs> Chief! <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Chief. <laughs> Look at me! Look at me! Look at me! <laughs> you gotta go, okay? Head north straight to Canada. You gotta escape, okay? You can do it. I believe in you. You, there's a place, okay? Go! You gotta go, okay? Look at me, you gotta go, okay? Go, okay, go. Go! Go! Oh God. Um, 
we'll say that, um, that, that he was like this when we, when we got in here. We'll say we found him like this, okay? Okay, and, then, and she'll know it was the chief, but she, 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 she'll have to believe us, okay? And she'll have to believe us, okay? Yes. Okay. Intra. Intra. Cutra. Corn. Apple. Seed. An apple. Thorn. Wire. Briar. Limber. Flock. Three. Geese. In a flock. One flew east. And one, one flew west. And one, one flew, flew over. The goat's nest. Goat. for one day. 